Hello everybody, it's Tony back with you. Another video on Tony's topics. Uh, today, I've got a really good uh, tip for you. Um, if you're a beginner and you don't know anything about this, this is mostly a beginning video, just to put that up front. Um, if you are in need of pinpointing exactly where you're going in Google Maps, meaning let's say you're going to a, a large park or you're going to an amusement park or you're going if you're a truck driver you're going to a big facility um, if you just put the address in on google's maps it'll take you to the address but it won't necessarily tell you where exactly you need to enter that address so let me show you how to do that using google maps and this is on an iphone okay so uh, go up to the top where it says search here and put in your address and now my address is already there um palmetto and see how it just drops it right in the middle of that building well driving a big truck i want to know how do i get in there so one of the things i'm going to do is zoom in and look around for entrances so here's one entrance here i don't know if it is an entrance what you can do is you can tap or, or actually long push on that driveway right there in the middle. Long push, see how it drops the pin there? Now, once it drops the pin, look at the bottom left of the screen. You see how uh, there's a picture in picture there? Click on that, that's your street view. So now you can see what that is. What that could be an entrance let's see what this says so this says that that's not the entrance that's the truck entrance is at the guard shack from California Avenue okay so now I already know I've given myself a little heads up that okay that's not the entrance so I'm not gonna be looking for that all right top left below where it says Verizon there's that arrow you click that arrow you're gonna go back out of Street View into the overhead view so now I'm gonna go down and this driveway down here right center screen that doesn't look like anything for trucks right so i'm gonna make a ride on palmetto if i'm going that way no driveways no driveways and then here's california street so let's look at california St oh look so now we have some trucks here i'm gonna zoom in looks like a guard gate there trucks are lined up looks like they're going in i'm gonna long press see that third truck making the turn in I'm just gonna long press right there and I want to put the pin right there because what that does is when that pin is put there it'll give me a street view lower left hand corner see that picture in picture click on that there we go that's that's giving me the look of what that driveway looks like I can zoom in and there is the guard shack so now I know that's where I need to go now here's what, come, what comes in really handy to punch into your GPS device. I want those exact coordinates right there where that pin is at. So look at the bottom where it says dropped pin. All right, I'm gonna push, there's a line at the top there of, that, of the white area. I'm just gonna push, hold that and drag up. And when I drag up, look below the picture. That's the, the, the GPS coordinates of that exact location. So rather than punching into my GPS, the address, which is just gonna take me close to that address, maybe to that driveway that we saw, um, I'm gonna punch in these exact coordinates and it's gonna take me right to that driveway. Okay, so that's how you find your GPS coordinates in Google Maps on an iPhone. Okay, I'm using an iPhone 7 Plus. But that's a great tip if you need to just really pinpoint yourself if you're going to a large facility, if you're going to a large park or some kind of vit, large venue and you want to plan ahead what gate you're going to go into or whatever, that's how you do it. Now, I want to just tell you one thing real quick. If you instead, uh, if you put the address up at the top here where it says search here, all right, that will work for you. But it does not work in this situation lower right hand corner the blue icon okay tap on that and now it's uh, going to route you from your location to let's say palmetto so 
here we go. There's my routing. And then I'm gonna zoom in and see where it takes me to. It takes me here, right? We know that's not the gate. Now we know that the gate is around the corner to the right. If I zoom in to where I know the gate's at and I do my long press, okay, I'm doing a long press right now. I'm doing a long press, it's not working. It's not dropping the pin there. If you've already run directions from one location to another, you have to go to the top where it says your location. To the left of that, there's a back arrow. You have to push that back arrow and then long press and it will drop the pin. So again, if you find yourself that you're not able to drop the pin to slide up, and get your GPS coordinates to push into your uh, uh, GPS device, then uh, remember to back out of it, back out of the direction from and to, okay? Uh, and you know what, and if you wanna use Google Maps, then all you have to do now is just say directions, bottom left-hand corner blue, just say directions, and it's gonna direct you to where the pins dropped. All right, so now we should be right to where the pin is dropped. Let's see. Perfect. See how that router is there now? Instead of uh, over here somewhere. So, like I said, beginner stuff, but it's stuff that I didn't know for a long time. And I hope this helps you. So, uh, be sure to like. Uh, my video if you found it helpful or subscribe if you'd like I get new subscribers every day um, I talk about different topics uh, please leave a comment below or you can email me at Tony 